Hello, it's Nana Korea, and today I'm praying for my husband's reputation. Um, my husband does a lot of good. My husband is a very good man, and I respect him deeply. And so, what I'm when I pray for his reputation, I'm praying that um, that his reputation would be protected, that people wouldn't tell lies or tarnish um, the reputation that he deserves. So. I've broken this one into three parts. First, a list of things that I prayed for. Second, a list of Bible verses that came from the prayer in the book that I prayed through. And finally, the power tools from the end of the chapter. So let's get started. First, I prayed for him to gain and earn a good reputation in our community and um, every community that he's in, so including where he works as well. I pray that God would cause people to speak well of my husband, that they would say kind things and nice things, uh, complimentary things about him and to him. I prayed that um, there would never be any reason for someone to say something bad about him, that people would not speak bad of him, um, and that he would be delivered from his enemies, that he would be uh, freed from anyone who tries to attack him. I prayed that uh, God would defend him um, and that he would not come to any harm. And I prayed that um, that God would fight those who attack my husband. I asked that um, he would be known for the good things that he does, that he would be uh, be known by the good works that he does and not the negative things um, that, he, that he may or mistakes that he may make. Um, I also prayed that he his care uh, sorry I skipped a, chap a page here. I prayed that his um, character would be developed, that he would continue to develop his character and become an even better man than and as he grows, and that um, his good reputation would never be spoiled. I prayed that God would lead and guide him, and that God would be his mighty fortress and the, the one on whom he trusts. And I asked that, um, that when people see my husband's good works, that they would glorify God. And then the Bible verses that I prayed through. There were a lot in this uh, prayer, so get ready to write them down. <laughs> Proverbs 27, verse 21. Proverbs 26, verse 2. Psalms 59, verse 1. And Psalms 35, verse 1. And Psalms 71, verse 1. Romans 8, 31. Matthew 7, 18 and 19, Psalms 31, verse 4, Psalms 40, verse 14, Psalms 56, verse 11, Romans 10, verse 11, and Matthew 5, verse 16. And then the power tools at the end of the chapter were Psalms 64, verses 1 and 2, Psalms 31, verses 17 to 18, Matthew 5, verses 11 to 12, Proverbs 25, verses 8 to 10, and Romans 8, 33 to 34. And that is how I prayed for my husband on day 15. I will see you again in the next video. Bye!